Hey guys, I'm going to be talking about the 14th of July 2024. Hope you're all well. Uh, in Minecraft, I'm going to try to proceed with the building and carving of this wonderful church. I have a lot of cleaning up to do first though. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Obviously we need more mud bricks on me. These are almost broken. I'm going to wait for mobs to spawn and kill them to uh, power up my uh, elytra. Whilst I've got a day. So yeah, I'll admit this one's quite late. Um, talking about Sunday and it's now Tuesday morning. Uh, very early Tuesday morning. It's literally just gone past midnight. Uh, yesterday it was quite late. I got back and I just didn't didn't feel like doing it, so I'm just going to go to bed. So I did. Uh, it was like almost two in the, well it was two in the morning, and I was like, oh, it's just too late, fuck this. Um, but yeah, I'll talk about that now. So, uh, no, don't blow up, you fucker. I need a better sword, this is stupid. Um, woke up around 9.30, I believe. I think it was just 9. Um... I wasn't sure whether or not I had to be in at work, and uh, oh fuck you! I wasn't sure whether or not I had to be in at work at um, twelve or one, and my I'm still working with two phones right now, and uh, it's not really interesting. But whenever I turn one on, I have to fucking verify the fucking WhatsApp login. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, and. My WhatsApp hasn't synced. Well, I, ha the, I can't load old messages from my old phone. It's really annoying. Anyway, it's not really that relevant. It was a very small obstacle that I soon overcame. Um, so yeah, I found out when I was working. It was at 12. Made my pancakes. I haven't made pancakes since I got back from travelling. I, I did alright. They're alright. They weren't bad at all. Had the pancakes. Oh, I do have fireworks. Sweet. Made the pancakes and um, polished those off, no problem. And uh, got ready for work. I was actually, I actually had loads of time, and then before I knew it, I was late. You know, I do that. I'm really good at that. Um, it's not good. It's not good. Um, but I got to work. I was like 15 minutes late. I got through the door. No one really noticed because I was busy. And, uh, yeah, just carried on working. Uh, one of the waitresses was there. She's actually pretty hot. And she was like, I like your hair. And uh, I was like, I know you do. It's funny because, uh, like, the dude that fucked the girl I like, but then started liking her as well. Oh, I can't even be bothered to tell the story. Basically, it's, it's the same girl I've been talking about for fucking the whole time I've been doing this public vlog. Um, it all went tits up with her. She, it turned out she was sleeping with somebody else in in the restaurant the whole time as well as me. Um, and I had a private conversation with this dude when we were talking to each other and figuring out all her lies because she kept us a secret from each other. And um, there's another lady in the restaurant who's a waitress also that he actually really likes. He has a massive crush on her. Even though she was fucking my massive crush, just for fun. He was fucking my crush, just for fun. Which is quite a hurtful realisation. And I'm thinking, I reckon... <laughs> I reckon I'm capable of taking his crush to bed. But I was like, you know what? She's a hard fish to catch. She's fucking mean. She's mean, this girl. Like, she thinks it's funny, but she'll say some mean shit. <laughs> you know? It's kind of It's kind of hot, though. It's like she's not just all like smiley smiling like all other girls like waitresses are. She'll like tell you to fuck off. And I kind of feel like she'll, she'll punch me in the face at any moment. Which is oddly attractive. Never never felt that before. But um, no, I'm probably not going to do that. But it's just, it just, it just a thought in my mind. I was like, huh, there would be even. He fucked my biggest crush in the world. I'd fuck his. But that's, uh, that's caveman thinking. I'm not going to do that. Although it is funny in my head when I play that scenario. Um, anyway. So she complimented my hair. I was like, yeah, no. It's great, isn't it? And then... Uh, oh my god, what a shot.
What? The zombie just deflected the bullet. No way, I've red sheep died. Um, so yeah, the work, the shit, the day of work wasn't really, you know, there's not really many points worth mentioning until the end, where of course the football was played. Not really sure if I've had this rant before. Probably have. But I think football is the gayest shit in the world. Like the, it is so beyond me. I don't know why it has such a massive following. Like all football supporters basically follow football because they can't really achieve anything else in their life. So they just go, Oh yeah, my team won! My team won! You didn't do anything, bro. You didn't achieve shit. Your team won? You sat on the fuck... It's on the fucking couch, mate. You didn't do shit. Of course, you can't paint them all with the same brush, but that's a large number of these fat fuckers. They like have a sense of achievement from somebody else's achievement, which is just like, I don't know, it's very low. I think it's very low. But um, yeah, and that they all like present themselves, and they're they're just a nuisance to society completely. They just fucking ram the trains up. The trains smell of alcohol. Fucking 10 a.m. in the morning because these fuckers, you know, I don't like them. Basically, if you couldn't tell. Um, and uh, so yeah, it was the f fucking Euros, the biggest game of the world. We made it to the finals, and uh, the restaurant I was at was playing it on TV. And um, yeah, I mean to be honest with you, uh, I thought it was going to be worse. The uh, the viewers were quite tame. Obviously, they got a little bit excited when a ball went near a goal, but they they were. I mean, I, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't lie to you, motherfuckers. I'm completely honest here. Um, I got a little bit excited, too. I was like, I was, I, the whole time, I was like, oh, yeah, fuck the football. And I genuinely would have, like, turned it off at the start if, like, if it was up to me. But once I was standing there watching it, because I'd rather watch the football than, like, polish a glass or something. So I'm watching it, and then... Uh, when a ball nearly goes in the goal, I'm like, yo, whoa, whoa! I'm like, oh my god, look at me. I'm fucking getting involved. Never would have guessed. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I almost got into it a little bit. But yeah, uh, we lost. England lost. And um, I won't lie, I was a little bit sad. I was like, oh, damn. Because like, I think we, we're 1-1. We're, uh, one, one, and then in the last like few minutes, Spain scored again. And uh, I was like, oh, this would actually be a super cool moment if Spain, if we scored in uh, in like the last few minutes to make it 2-2 uh, and then we went to like penalties or something. That would be, I would remember that forever. But unfortunately it didn't happen. Life is not a movie, guys. It didn't happen like that. But it would have been cool, I admit. All right, let's make this four tall. And we'll deal with the archway later with the chisel and bits mod. Because that's how we roll. Perfect. So we can now maybe just get some bits with these and uh, extend this up. With my ex extended knowledge of the chisel and bits mod, I can increase my build time sufficiently. How nice. Okay, you know what though? So that's that's uh let's just do one arch at a time then. Hmm. I'm just looking at the other picture. How do I want to do this? So that could be the right then inside. Oh complicated. Uh no it isn't. I don't know how I'm going to talk whilst doing this. It's going to be very hard. Shit. Anyway, let me do this. I think I, I can do this. So yeah, the, it was the normal Sunday service, Sunday roast, all that bollocks. Um, I felt a little bit like the kitchen vibes were slightly different, but not like 
I, I just felt like it was a little bit different uh, in a little bit of a negative way. But I suppose everyone was just doing their job and they didn't have time for chatting, which is fine. Um, but it's just a, it's just a little uh, notice, like realization that I had. Um, and yeah, so. What did I say? Shit. Shit. Will this fit? Oh, it will. So I want it like... One, two, three. One, two, three. One, Two, three, bollocks, I think that's right. Heart one, two, three, no it isn't. Boom. So anyway, Um, the football was the main event. We finished the roasts. It got really quiet inside. We're sending people home. And I'm like, fuck's sake, why am I never the one to get sent home? Um, so yeah, we just got all the chairs and shit ready outside. Everyone flocked in. The owner came as well. And the owner, like, notoriously doesn't really speak to anyone, any of the staff. He kind of has, like, an air of, like, oh, I'm better than you, that kind of thing. People sort of uh, resent him for that. But he's actually started speaking to me recently, which is surprising. He was like, how was your holiday? I was like, it was good, thanks. And I went up to uh, I went up to the apartment, which is a, a lot of uh, English pubs have like living spaces above the pub for the landlords. It's very traditional. And I went up there today to uh, uh, plug some shit in because we moved all these sockets and all that shit. And it was actually really nice. It was really nice. I wouldn't have a problem living there at all. Um, I mean, it is really far away from all train stations, so maybe I would have a little bit of a problem, but it was very nice. Not really sure what I expect, though. I didn't expect it to be a dump. Okay, let's, I'm going to make an arch here. I'm going to have to really concentrate. I'll just make it in two bit. I'll just make it once and then copy and paste it. Um, that would be easier and also impossible to get wrong. Uh, have that, uh, boom, bang, I didn't know zombies spawn in thunderstorms. This is going to be very difficult to talk about the day whilst doing this. I suppose I'll just kind of do this. Oh man, I don't know. Maybe I should start from... No, Alright, we'll go three. And then two. I'll just play it by feel, man. Let me set a small task just to finish for the day and then I'm not talking for too long. I should put mending on my other stuff too. Alright, let me just make the frame for this arch and then I'll finish talking about the day and call that a day for the video. Then I've got to do fucking today's video because I'm behind. I might just fish for that one. Alright, so... I'll give I'll give this arch two attempts, once today, once tomorrow, and then uh, we'll uh, see which I prefer, and then we'll go for that one. Great. All right, you know we're gonna sleep first. These things are really getting on my nerves. We don't need XP right now. Oh, 
are due to the time, new plan. Gonna speed run today, tomorrow, I'll do a little bit of the arch, and then by Wednesday we'll have two arches to choose from. Because it is quite interesting um, today, the end of today. So yeah, the football we lost, oh my god, I've spent a lot, of, I've already said that like 10 minutes ago, I've spent a lot of time wasted. Um, lost the football, everything was winding down, I had to like stock some drinks, I never do stock on the bar, but the guy asked me to, he's been such a gig, but I was just like, fuck it bro, whatever. Uh, doing some of that, and uh, as I got up to... Uh, like I was crouching down to the fridge <laughs> and as I stood up my belt clipped like this metal uh, shelf and I, I knocked all these like really expensive alcohol vodka and spirits all over the floor smashed everywhere I was like great I just walked off the guy was like oh my god I just walked off like fuck it I'm not dealing with that and then um, uh, I fucking prepared some I don't remember what they called them, these little baskets for the outside dining, these little baskets for the fucking cutlery, it was like, oh my god, pissing me off. Prepared some of that, and uh, yeah, uh, and then one of these dukes, basically the two managers left, they're like, bye, we're leaving, and it was just me, this uh, like other waiter, this Asian guy who I, I, I thought was safe. Uh, and then another younger guy who's a fucking waste man, but he's all right. To, he's all right to be honest, he's just really annoying because he's young. Um, and then the other two bar managers. And this fucking Asian dude just gets up and leaves. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Like, why are you sitting there eating? He's like, I'm munching, bro. I'm like, mate, you've been here for like, like he, he got here like the latest out of all of us and he left first. Because the managers weren't there, he just went home. Oh, that, that pissed me off so much. I do, there's work to do, we're here together. If you leave earlier, that means it's going to take us longer to do it. And we go home later, you cunt. I hate that so much. In my eyes, he's a fucking waste man from now on. Even though I actually quite liked him before today. Fucking waste man. Just sat down, just literally didn't ask any of us. Do you guys need anything before I go? He'd been here for like the least time. Absolute dickhead. But, um. Yeah, I was getting pretty pissed off because I'd been here since 12. It's almost 11. Um. Sundays usually don't go for that long. But yeah, uh. Finished the jobs. The bar guy saw I was pissed off. He's like, yo, just leave, man. I'm like, no. I'm finishing the job until we're all ready to go. Then I'll leave. And then someone said something about a cigar, and I was like, you know what, I fucking deserve a cigar. <laughs> so I get staff discount there, so I got this Romeo and Juliet cigar for £15. And, um, yeah, clipped it off, put it back in its packet, went home, smoked that motherfucker. It was actually really nice, really enjoyed it. I probably never enjoyed a cigar that much before. Um, went outside. My lights wouldn't work outside, so it was just in the dark. Uh, the first two times I lit it, it didn't really catch properly, so I was just like half, like it was a bit shit. And then when I took another match to it, it really went, and it was so nice. Um, I was listening to the uh, Joe Ro Rogan and Quentin Tarantino podcast uh, when I started smoking. I also had like little bits of lamb from the uh, leftover roast scraps. For some reason, they chopped it into cubes. I was just using my hands to eat it. I was smoking a cigar. I had a cup of tea. It was, it was so nice. Um, and yeah, it was just... Oh, it, was, it, was it was such a nice moment. And when I finished the cigar, I looked at the podcast. It's almost an hour I was out there smoking, listening to the podcast. I was like, wow, that time flew. What, a, what an enjoyable... Uh, what is that? What? Must be the chisel on bits. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, it was a very nice way to end the day. I almost didn't. I was like, I'm just going to save this guy and go to bed. But I was like, fuck it. I did it. It was lovely. And then um, when I came back uh, inside, 
my sort of stepsister. I say sort of because my, my dad and his mum aren't married, but they've been together for like seven years. And she lived with us for five years, so she's kind of a stepsister now. Um, she was downstairs, like just making voice notes. And I was like, oh, hi, what's up, what's up? And she's like, oh, and I, ju I literally just, I was browsing my phone. I just saw that uh, on my on her story, or on my ex-girlfriend's story, they'd like met each other in a pub and they're like, oh, what's up? And they were like dancing together or whatever. And she told me that uh, they'd been talking about me, <laughs> apparently for like 45 minutes. And my ex-girlfriend was mad at me for going traveling with this other girl who I'd just been traveling with. And I thought, what? Why? Why is she mad? Like, I'm pretty sure she cheated on me when she went traveling alone. And, you know, that was almost a year ago. We've, 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 been, we've not been together for all, like, maybe 10 months now, almost a year. So why are you mad at me going traveling with another girl? Like, what? Um, I mean, I won't lie. It's flattering to know that your ex is like pissed off and she misses you. Um, but it, was, it did confuse me. I was like, "Why are you mad? Like, you literally, you did like all the things you did. I broke up with you because you were taking pictures of other dudes like leaning all over them. So of course that I'm gonna be pissed off by that. Why would I put up with that? And now she's like, "Yeah, all I did was just took a picture of another boy that I was travelling with." And now I mean. Especially after my experience now, I can only assume the worst. Before I had no reason to, but now I've got more experience with women. Jesus Christ. You hoes ain't loyal, what can I say? Um, but yeah, that was funny to hear that she was mad at that. And then I explained the situation a little bit with my stepsister about me and this other girl that I just went traveling with. And she was like, no way. I was like, yep. Uh, and it was peak, man. Even she was like, damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> and she's a girl. On the same side. Anyway, anyway, I digress. Enough talking about that hoe. But, um, not my, I'm not calling my stepsister a hoe. I'm calling the girl I was with a hoe. Um, but yeah, uh, that was a funny conversation to have. And then I literally went upstairs, flossed, jumped in the shower to get the tobacco off my body before I got into bed and passed out. I had a lovely six hours sleep. 